Four. 46 year old Eric Cedeno was born in Panama and raised in Miami, Florida. For the past five years, he's been running a small coffee shop inside a downtown Phoenix bicycle store. COVID-19 put the brakes on his business, so he packed up his bike and hit the road. But his journey has a special meaning. Team Tall's Caribe Divine brings you his story. I've always been an adventurer. I've always loved to travel. In the social media world, he's known as the bicycle nomad. 46-year-old Eric Cedeno hasn't owned a car in over 12 years. I wanted to see the country by bicycle. I wanted to go to the small towns to engage with uh, people, nature. Cedeno has pedaled his way around the country from Miami to New York and even down to Mexico. Six years ago, he decided he wanted to do something different, ride with a purpose. Not just ride, uh, a ride just to ride it, but to engage myself into uh, the history, the energy of the Underground Railroad. After his shop closed earlier this year because of the pandemic, Eric hopped back on the bike. His friends and family were hesitant this time around because of COVID and social unrest. They were like, I don't know if that's a good idea. Traveling through the South, they thought, as a person of color, maybe you will be deal with racism or maybe someone might harm you. What he found instead was kindness. They just wanted to be a part of the, the trip. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. I'm actually experiencing the opposite of what people thought I was going to experience. A challenging nine state, 2200 mile trip it started in New Orleans and ended in Niagara Falls, Canada. It took 32 days to complete. These are routes that uh, previous uh, freedom seekers will take to escape to, to Canada into freedom. So when you look to your right or you look to your left and, and you are following a river um, or a swamp and then you understand what people had to go through, uh, yeah, that was, that was the hardest part. Now, back at home and resting, the Bicycle Nomad plans to organize smaller trips along the route to teach the history and the stories of the past at a pace anyone can enjoy. I want to inspire more people to travel by bicycle to see what I have seen, not only in the physical, but uh, see the kindness of people. That is so cool. What an adventure. Eric recently collaborated with local Tempe-based company State Bicycles to produce 100 limited edition bicycle nomad bikes.